I reckon they're about to go. Yeah, go on, go again. Yeah, I mean, for for us coming into this race, it's great. We've had a good start to the season. Um, you know, I think to come into the race with two previous winners in your team is, is obviously a great position to be in, as well as the other guys on the team, you know, we're all, all in a good place. And, you know, coming into Lincoln, it, it does suit us well, this race, and specifically the team we bought here. Um, so hopefully we can get stuck right in, take the race on and come away with not only not only a good result on the day, but also a couple of guys towards the front of the, towards the front of the race, which I think is possible. I mean, obviously it's going to be difficult. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of strong guys here on various teams, um, so you know it's definitely not going to be a walk in the park by any means. But if, I feel if we get if we get the job done right, we could we could come away with a couple in the top ten and be good, and well, hopefully the win as well. Uh, I'm going to say it's, it's very much it's very much a similar sort of thing. I mean, obviously. You know, as years go by, there's always different changes with teams, riders of different teams. Obviously, this year, you know, there's been a bit of a big shake-up with a lot of the teams. You know, a couple of new teams, a couple of teams, you know, not continuing on. But uh, like ultimately, there's still this, a very similar core of riders that are doing similar sort of races. Sure, there's always faces come and go. You know, riders that have a standout year, or but ultimately, you've got very similar tough level of competition. It just ends up, you know, going across various teams. Some guys have good years and. All of a sudden, you think, "All right, we got a couple more people to try and keep an eye on now." That are, you know, potential race winners still. So it just it just adds another dynamic to it every year. You're always trying to learn. You're always trying to get better as a as an individual and as a team as well. So it just it's just always a good thing. I mean, as an individual for the rest of the series, you know, a bike racer, I always want to try and win races. It's it's obviously tricky to do. You know, because it is hard, and it, even in a, and in a team environment, you, you can't just think about yourself. You've got to think about, you know, trying to get the best result for the team. And you know, some days that revolves around you specifically, but other times it means you know you've got you've got to help other guys out and you know commit maybe your opportunity of trying to get a result because the team result takes a priority really over an individual. So. Um. It's, it's tricky to do. I try not to put a massive focus on individual events because I feel like there's, there's so many things out of your control that it, it can lead to like you know a bit of disappointment. I mean, obviously you've got to highlight races and you've got to try and try and approach things with you know a real desire to win. But I'm definitely a person that keeps a very open mind over all races. I just I just not really one to try and target a massive event because because I feel like it's it's a hard thing to do and all of a sudden you find yourself disappointed. So. Well, I mean, yeah, of course. The the aim is always to win, and as I do agree to be honest. We have got a strong team. We have got a number of riders on, you know, their given day, and the you know the race that suits them. It, it could, you know, we could win a lot of bike races, but it's obviously very tough, and you know, there's a lot of other teams in a similar position. So it does lead to great racing, which is what it's all about, really.